the Lord God says I must advise Christians in Kenya and beyond to pray against the resurgence of tribalism in that country. The Lord says Kenya is a treasure to him and Christians must not slumber while Satan is scheming to spoil or destroy the jewel through contestations for and an unbridled lust for power over God's people. We must pray that God revives the spirituality of those in leadership. And we also must pray for God to destroy the altars of witchcraft in that nation. Because that is what I was seeing by the Spirit of the Almighty God. In actual fact, for me to write this message, I saw in a vision, a demons in the realms of the Spirit. They were, they, were, they were discussing how they want to carry a census of the people according to their tribes in Kenya. They were strategizing, saying, let us count people in terms of their tribes. And let us allocate leaders to people according to their tribes. And I was asking God, what does this mean in terms of the future of this country? God was saying, this is the spirit of divisions, which is why leaders are fighting right now as we are talking in Kenya. There is a lot of division in the government which is ruling, and there is a lot of division even among people who are outside government in Kenya. There is a lot of division even among church leaders. The Spirit of God was saying this is caused by the principality of tribalism. He was saying the devil has activated spirits of tribalism in that country. So Christians, when they are organizing their prayers, they must make sure that they do not isolate themselves according to their own tribe. When they isolate themselves according to their own tribe, the Spirit of God was telling me that they will be dominated by these spirits of tribalism. The Holy Spirit was telling me that as much as is possible, Christians must mix themselves so that many tribes are represented whenever they are organizing their prayers. It might be prayers that they will organize physically uh, in a place like a church sanctuary. They must make sure that whatever prayers they are doing, they are not, tri they are not prayers of mainly one tribe to the exclusion of other tribes or mainly one grouping of people to the exclusion of other groupings. People must be mixed so that from their diversity, they will paralyze the spirit of tribalism in that nation. Because the enemy has sent out his demons to do a census of people according to their tribes. What is this census of people according to their tribes? All of a sudden, even politicians, they will start to strategize and to reason, not because of the assignment that God has given them to administer his people in Kenya, but according to how strong they are in terms of their tribe and the related tribes. And God was saying, if that is allowed, they cannot avoid bloodshed. But God was saying, it's not his plan for there to be bloodshed because of tribal differences of people. He was telling me in my spirit that tribes, he is the one who created people in their many tribes. Because he has got a purpose for those many tribes. So he was telling me to tell my Kenyan brothers and sisters that they must guard the young country jealously against the spirit of tribalism. We are going to add to the prayer that I prayed in the morning to the Almighty God, where I was pleading with the Almighty God for the nation of Kenya. As I pray for Kenya, that you demolish strongholds of tribalism strongholds of witchcraft, strongholds of the Freemason organization, Illuminati and other secret societies. It is my prayer for Kenya that you move by your spirit to destroy ancient foundations ancient demonic foundations 
and ancient brotherhood. To literally sweep from the coast to the border inland, from Mombasa to Kisumu, to sweep Kenya by the broom of the Holy Spirit. And in Kenya, my declaration is, is as follows. Every tree that God has not planted in that nation may it be uprooted. And every tree which God has planted may it be watered by the water of the Holy Spirit, by the water of the Holy Spirit, the water of the word of the Almighty. I pray even this morning for Kenyan leaders, for unity of purpose. We know evil spirits are beating drums of war and contestations for power are heating up. And people are being categorized by the devil according to their tribal affiliations and origins. But this morning, as an intercessor, together with my brothers and sisters, I pray for Kenya to experience the glory of God. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, I know that you are not a politician. And that you are not moved by the politics of the day in Kenya. But you are moved by your own agenda, the kingdom agenda in Kenya. I am not a Kenyan myself. To the best of my knowledge, I don't have any relatives in Kenya. But I've got a pattern for Kenya. Like I'm a Kenyan. Yes, I am in the spirit. And this morning, I utter this prayer to say, may the demons that are beating drums of war, that are beating drums of divisions, that are beating drums of strife, that are beating drums of pride, because of the last for power, may those demons fail in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for Kenya just like he died for all of us. He did not die for Kenyans to be tearing one another because of political power, because of material things of this world. In 1 Timothy chapter 6, the Apostle Paul, inspired by the Holy Spirit, he declares to us that we came to this world with nothing. And it is certain that we are going to go out of this world with nothing. What is important to Kenyans of all generations at the present moment, those who live in Kenya, the country, and those who are Kenyans, but are in other countries in the diaspora, May you touch the heart of each and every Kenyan. We have known Kenya for hospitality. We have known Kenya for the spiritual fervence of a Christian community. We have known Kenya for her resilience when it comes to competing in athletics competitions. That drive, let it be reflected in the kingdom agenda. May you raise prophets and apostles. And may you empower existing ones so that they will stand for the will of God, not only now, but forever. Zumbrandika tsuna kina soto, zoto meka shina kina sombre. Father, we know that human beings are nothing but flesh. Let your work and your will prevail despite human choices. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, 
I thank you, Almighty God, for your goodness. I thank you, Lord, that you are hearing the prayers of many saints, Kenyans and non-Kenyans alike, Christians in the port of Christ who are interceding for that great nation. We desire the thing of God to blossom in that country so that we as people in other countries who are Christians may be partakers of what we are doing in that nation. In the name which is greater than any other name, I decree and I say, let the Spirit of God move. Let the Holy Spirit move in Kenya. Let the Holy Spirit move from Mombasa, from the coastal regions to all the parts of the country inland. And may even the Muslim community be touched for Christ. May your spirit move and may your spirit turn the hearts of all human beings to you. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen.